Hello, my name is Nell, and today I'm going to be talking about the ableism of Pauline Hanson, the Australian politician. Uh, yeah, she's already got some uh, interesting and divisive controversial views, and apparently she wanted to add ableism to the mix. Before we get too far into it, hello, my name is Nell, and I have things to say about disability, chronic illness, mental health, and occasionally current events. If that sounds like something that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel. Come back every second Wednesday when I upload new videos. Let me know what you think of my videos in the comments section so I can have a chat with you. And if you know of somebody who would benefit from or enjoy one of my videos or the whole channel, please feel free to share a link with them. Um, so Pauline Hanson, most Australians will know who I'm talking about, but if you don't, I will give you a quick summary to catch you up. She is an Australian um, politician, very, very conservative. She is the founder and leader of the One Nation po right political party, which is very right wing. They are very much <laughs> anti anyone and anything that is not like them. And uh, most of them are middle aged, white, able bodied, cisgendered, straight people. Um, Last year, she shared a video on her social media accounts making fun of the NDIS. I think it was intended to be satire, but it just came across as cruel mockery. Uh, the video makes fun of the NDIS as a scheme, as a whole. It starts off with um, somebody getting hurt and then somebody popping up and saying, well, don't worry, this makes, m makes you eligible for the N NDIS, the National Disability Insurance Scam. Very clever, hardy ha ha. It shows Labour endorsing the NDIS as a big business money sink. Not only that, but it claims that they are lowering the bar for what's considered a disability. Stub your toe? Apparently, that'll count as a physical disability. Have some difficulty concentrating? Well, you've got a psychosocial disability. Never mind the fact that someone like me, who had been completely wheelchair reliant for five years at the time when I initially applied for the NDIS, was denied the NDIS the first time because of the amount of hoops you need to jump through, that the NDIS requires you to jump through to make sure that you are, in fact, permanently disabled to a significant degree. And never mind the fact that getting on the NDIS for psychosocial disability is incredibly difficult because it can be so hard to quantify the effect that that disability has on your life. They also make a joke about how voting for the Greens counts as a cognitive disability. So that's fun. They also make a joke about a blind man, you know, and now I think there's a, you know, is there a time and place for uh, for jokes like even a blind man could see that coming? A lot of us have told that joke. I don't know if that's really even OK anymore, but not in a video where you're clearly mocking everything about disability, disability needs, disability support, because then it's not friendly jesting and it's not just a figure of speech. It's just unkind ridicule. They then list some of the services. Sound bars. Tarot readings. Sex workers. Respite on the Gold Coast with a super pass to the local theme parks. Yeah, you have to fight to get equipment. You have to go through assessment after assessment and it needs to be relevant to your disability and then you need to wait months and months for the equipment to arrive, if it does. The issue of sex workers being funded is its own debate, which I might address some other time, but the video took things a step further by mentioning this issue of sex workers while featuring a caricature of Greens Senator Jordan Alexander Steele John, the nation's first disabled senator, having sex workers dancing around him and his wheelchair. Why? It's unnecessary. And as for getting all paid hotels on the Gold Coast, I was told the NDIS wouldn't even pay the $50 difference that I had to pay between a standard hotel rate and the rate I'm forced to pay for accessible rooms when I'd gladly take something cheaper. I'm not going to show the video because it's gross and ugly, but you can find it if you wanted to by searching Pauline Hanson NDIS video on Google. The caption implies, um, the caption to the video implies good intentions, that it's there to criticise the failure of the scheme. It states... We all know that Labour loves to spend your money like it's going out of fashion, but they have taken it to a new level with the NDIS. While a national disability insurance scheme to protect the most vulnerable sounds good on paper, the reality is the NDIS has become a scandal-plagued, scam-ridden budget disaster. The thing is, there are criticisms to be made about the NDIS. I've made them. 
I have a video pointing out the failures of the NDIS. However, this video completely misses the mark. And instead of shooting at the actual scammers and those taking advantage of the NDIS, it shoots at those being scammed. The vulnerable people living with disability. It's claim claiming that the people on the scheme are scamming their way on there are scamming their way to excessively luxurious lives, while also not really needing or deserving any of it. But we aren't the people who are profiting off the NDIS. It's providers who are making the most of loopholes to charge more out of our plans, costing the NDIS more, and still leaving us with needs unmet. Pauline Hansen wanted to take aim at the Labour government, and she didn't give a shit that people with disabilities would be collateral damage. People with Disability Australia released a statement at the time. It said it condemned the repugnant, hateful and discriminatory re video released today by One Nation mocking people with disability through ignorant and uninformed commentary. And that's the key. Ignorant and uninformed. Like I said, there are criticisms to be made. This video didn't make any of the right ones. The president of the organisation, um, the People with Disability Australia Association, President Nicole Lee, also said the video showed insensitive cruelty and contained offensive, inappropriate and inaccurate depictions of disability supports under the NDIS. People with disability already experienced large amounts of stigma, abuse, neglect and exploitation by people in the community. Videos like this make those experiences that we have out in the community even worse, and it gives a license to people to further that abuse, to blame us for all the things that are wrong with society. And that is huge. I had someone be surprised when I mentioned struggling to afford medication. They thought that because I was on the NDIS, I got my medication for free. They'd read it or heard it somewhere, and therefore it was true. I explained that the NDIS doesn't help with medication at all. But how many people go on with misconceptions like that? And, and then are they, they're receptive to stories like this, uh, who already think that people like me get special treatment. And so if they hear that our ride to get free shit is easy, they'll think, I knew it. I, kn I knew it. I knew they had to be getting something real easy. I knew they were routing the system. I knew that's what was going on. Craig Wallace, the head of policy and advocacy for inclusion, pointed out the reality is, is the NDIS is actually highly limited and constrained to people with permanent and significant impairment. Many people still struggle to get basic equipment or personal care. Others have had plans cut and the prolonged assessments and bureaucracy mean that this is hardly a luxury. If you're going to criticise disability care, don't criticise the people receiving it. We are far more likely to be taken advantage of by people using the system for their own ends than we are to be able to manipulate the system to get what we want. And you want to know why? Because it's already too fucking hard to get what we need. I'm having to fight to get a bed. Do you think I could just ask nicely and get a TV? I just stayed in a hotel that had the toilet in the kitchen, the toilet had no lid, and there was no wall between that toilet and the bedroom, all because the NDIS doesn't contribute to accommodation. Do you really think that I could bat my eyelids and get a fully paid for holiday on the Gold Coast? Pauline Hansen doesn't give a shit about people with disabilities. We are just ammunition in her fight against the Labour government. And in the process, she's done what she does best. She's spread misinformation amongst an impressionable group of people who are very quick to believe in a new enemy. Videos like this don't do anything for disability and for disabled people. They're not advocacy videos. They're not putting down the NDIS to improve it. They're just bringing us down with the ship. And it's useless and it's disgusting. That's all for this one. That's my rant. Uh, it was, it's just disgusting. We don't need this. We don't need more misinformation being spread telling people that we get an easy ride on the NDIS. We do not. 
We do not. It is not easy. I have to fight for what I get on the NDIS. And I am still often afraid that it will be taken away because of bureaucracy, because of technicalities. It is a precarious life. That's all for this one. Thank you so much for listening and learning with me. Um, And please, if you're watching and you aren't subscribed, please do subscribe. And if you do know of somebody who you think would be interested, please do share it with them and um, get them, encourage them to subscribe. I would really like to grow this channel this year. I would really love that. All right. Thank you so much for watching to the end. See you in the next one. Bless.